Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren and today we're going to do a little test on some New York strips. I actually thawed these out uh, starting last night in the refrigerator and I got four of them and two of these I did not season when I vacuum sealed them and put them in the freezer. I just put them in there plain and these two I went ahead and I seasoned them before I put them in the freezer when I vacuum sealed them. They've been both been in the freezer about a week and a half and now they're thawed out and we're going to do a test to see which one of these tastes better, worse, the same, pre-season versus post-season. I'll be right back. All right guys, like I said, we're going to do a little test today to see which one of these New York strips actually comes out better. and. The reason I'm doing this is because I've had people on some of the other Facebook groups, the sous vide groups and all that have been telling me, oh, you shouldn't season your meat before you freeze it because it'll wreck it when it's in the freezer, it'll cure it and all that. You need to do everything naked, don't season it till after you sous vide it and throw it on the grill. So we're going to give that a little bit of test. So it's kind of a multiple test here. You know, since these were seasoned before I froze them, we're going to see if it has that much effect on these steaks. Since these, I didn't season at all, and we're going to throw them right in the sous vide without seasoning. These are seasoned, and now we're going to throw these in the sous vide. We're going to take one of each of these steaks, and we're going to sear them the same exact way, same seasoning, just to see how they turn out. So, bear with me guys. I'm going to go ahead and throw these all in the uh, sous vide bath. I'm going to use my rack here. They're both, all of them are going to go in at the same time, for the same amount of time. We're going to do 128 for right at three hours and then we're going to take them out and we are going to sear them. I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the bath and then we'll be back in about three hours after these are done cooking. All right. Out of the sous vide bath and there is definitely a difference in the you know, pre-seasoned and not seasoned at all. I'm going to get a closer look for you. As you can tell, the ones on your left are the ones that are pre-seasoned. ones that are on your right are not seasoned at all. I'm going to go ahead and pat these dry, and then we're going to go ahead and sear them up. So bear with me. I got all my got my heat going out there. And these are going to go on the Camp Chef sear box. So I'm going to go ahead and season both of these back up with some of my beef rub. And then I'm just going to take two of these because the other two I'm doing another video on. So, all right, guys, I will be right back. Okay guys, I got my steaks here all ready and I am ready to take a taste test. These are our two that we are comparing against. This one here is the pre-seasoned one that was seasoned inside the vacuum bag and, and stuck in the freezer. And this one that was seasoned after we took it out of the sous vide bath. So I'm going to go ahead and take a bite and show you. But that's still pretty medium rare there. Just to see, just make sure that's focusing. That's pretty medium rare. So I'm going to take a nice taste of that. It's very well seasoned. You can taste the salt and the pepper and the garlic. So nothing wrong with that one. Had plenty of steaks like that before. So now I'm going to take a bite right along the same area, the one that was not seasoned before freezing. And just so you can take a look at that, make sure it focuses. 
still medium rare on that one. And really to look at them, you can't really tell that much difference in the cook. It's definitely not as seasoned. I can't taste the salt, pepper, and garlic as much. And it feels like it's just a little bit tougher. Like maybe this one, you know, the salt tenderized it some when it was cooking in the sous vide. I can take another taste just to double check. I mean, I can taste the seasoning. It's just not as pronounced as in on this one. And like I said, it's still, it doesn't taste quite as tender. And they're cut right from the same, right around the same area of the steak. This one doesn't look like it's been cured or anything. It looks just like a regular medium rare steak. But you can definitely taste more of the seasoning, more of the salt. It's kind of um, a lot more tender. So there you go, guys. I mean, if this is all going to boil down to personal preference, how you want to do it. But I don't see any issue with seasoning and then throwing it in the freezer and then throwing it right in the sous vide bath. I haven't. Uh, this is the first time I've compared them neck and neck. And I really don't see where it'll actually hurt it. It actually tenderizes it a little bit more. Um, just try it both ways and then do it the way you like it. So that's what I feel. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, hit the bell button for notifications, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And again, I'll see you guys in the next video.